Hey guys, welcome back to Review Radar. In this video, we're going to be talking and comparing two services, which are HostGator and Hostinger. We'll cover everything you need to know shortly to not take much of your time. Also guys, a quick note, we're actually affiliated with these services. So if you would like to get a free discount, please find a link in the video description below that will allow you to get a discount for your subscription to these services. All right, so as you can see, we have ratings in, in here. So HostGator comes below the Hostinger and we have here from $2.6 a month. HostGator is a bit more expensive, which goes at $3.75 a month and be able to make an informed decision about which service to choose. So let's start. I'm going to now show you briefly the pricing of these services. Also, we have coupons. Hostinger coupon is 77% off. HostGator 62% off. Now storage space can go up to 150 gigs. Okay, so I am now in Hostinger. So as you can see, we have three available plans, which I have also discussed in a previous comparison video. So we have premium that bids at $2.99 a month. Then we have most popular $3.99 a month for business plan. And then lastly, we have cloud startup plan, which bids at $7.99, almost $8 and this is going to be the most expensive plan. In regards to pricing of HostGator, as you can see, we have 375 a month. Also, in regards to other plans, we have WordPress hosting, which is 450, VPS hosting, which is 36.99, and dedicated hosting, which is the most expensive one at $91.98. Now, the basic comparison of features, we have shared hosting, WordPress hosting, cloud hosting, VPS hosting, etc. You can compare the available features. We will leave the link to this small article in the video description if you want to see a detailed comparison as well and read it for yourself. So in regards to features, both providers offer essential features like free SSL certificate, domain registration, and email accounts. However, these are some key differences. HostGator provides unmetered bandwidth and a free website builder with its plans, which is great for beginners. On the other hand, Hostinger includes a more robust suite of performance features like Lightspeed caching and a custom control panel that's very user-friendly. If you care about customer support, Hostgator offers 24-7 customer support through phone, live chat, and email. Hostinger also provides 24-7 support. Now about the ease of use, Hostgator uses the traditional cPanel, which is familiar to many users and offers a lot of functionality. Hostinger uses its own custom H panel, which is sleek, modern, and very intuitive, both are user-friendly, but Hostinger's H panel is designed with beginners in mind, so it's more suitable for those that probably don't have any experience with site building, so that's going to be more for you. So in general, to summarize, which one should you choose? It depends on your personal needs, of course, and your budget. If you're looking for a budget-friendly option with excellent performance and easy-to-use interface, Hostinger will be a great choice for you. However, if you prefer having multiple support options and unmetered bandwidth, HostGator might be the better suit for you guys. So in conclusion, that's our comparison for HostGator versus Hostinger. We hope this helps you decide which web host is right for you. If you have any questions, of course, or experiences on the other hand, with either of these providers, let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon for more web hosting reviews and tech tips. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next one.